Hey guys, a few months ago I went to New York City and I showed you guys this matcha lava cake at the spot in New York City. It's in Koreatown and I just thought, oh my gosh, I have to make this and show you guys. So today that's exactly what I'm doing. We're making a matcha lava cake and as a bonus, I decided to make a no churn matcha ice cream too. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first, I'm starting by heating up a pot of water to make my bon marie. It's basically a pot which holds hot water so that I can slowly melt my white chocolate, which I'm adding in about a cup right now, and then a tablespoon of neutral oil and a tablespoon of matcha powder. I'll give it a stir and continue stirring until it melts. The soft heat from the bain marie will help the white chocolate melt beautifully. And it won't cause the white chocolate to seize either. Beautiful. Now I'll take it off heat and fill my ice cube molds. I got these cool silicone ice molds at Ikea, but you can find fun shapes at like Target, on Amazon, and just make it your own. I think a heart shape would be really cute in this lava cake too. Even though it melts out, it's okay. It's the fun of making it, right? I'll give it a good shake to even everything out, and then I'll freeze it for about 15 minutes to let it firm up. In the meantime, I'm gonna start another bain marie, this time melting a stick of butter, let it melt most of the way through, and then I'm gonna add in four ounces of bittersweet chocolate. I'm using chocolate that's about 70% cocoa so that we get that nice and rich chocolate flavor. Okay, next, in another bowl, I'm gonna crack two eggs, add in two additional egg yolks, give it a good mix with my hand mixer, about three tablespoons of sugar, Mix it again, mix, mix, mix. You want it light and fluffy. And then I'm gonna add the whisked eggs into my chocolate mixture. And finally, about two teaspoons of all-purpose flour. I'll gently mix it by hand until it all comes together. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. Now in my little bowls, I'm gonna paint each one with a little bit of melted butter. And now I'll add some flour to create a barrier to keep my lava cakes from sticking to the bowl. I'm using these cute mini latte bowls from Anthropology. that's a little different than what you typically use when making lava cake. Usually people use ramekins with the square bottom, but since these are a little round, just make sure you butter and flour it well so that it pops right out. The first few times I tried it, it got stuck and it broke my cake, so that's my only advice for you. Sorry, I meant a flat bottom. Anyways, I'll add in a scoop of the chocolate batter into each of my latte bowls, and then I'll pop out the white chocolate matcha squares. Stick it in the middle. So pretty! They look so good, I can just eat the squares alone. But I'm gonna fill the rest of the bowls up with more chocolate batter. And then it's ready to be baked. I'll put it on a baking sheet, and then in my preheated oven at 450 degrees, I'm gonna bake it for seven to nine minutes. For the matcha ice cream, I actually made this on Sweet and Live on Saturday, but it was so good, I thought I needed to show you guys too. It's super easy, and you only need four ingredients. In a bowl, I'm adding one cup of cold, heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of matcha powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt that'll balance everything out. I'll give it a good mix again just until the whipped cream forms stiff peaks. And then I'll add about seven ounces or half of my can of condensed milk directly into the bowl. This is gonna add the sweetness to the ice cream. I'll mix it by hand just to incorporate the ingredients, and then I'll whisk it again with my hand blender to incorporate more air back in. Finally, I'll scrape down the sides and take a piece of plastic wrap to cover it, making sure it touches the surface of the ice cream. Now, I'll freeze it for about four hours, but you definitely wanna make this ahead of time. 
The thing that I love about these no churn ice cream is that I can make it any flavor that I want. I've made peanut butter jelly, I've made tiramisu ice cream, I've made uh, cookies and cream, which is so good, but the matcha is one of my favorite because I love matcha, as if you guys can't already tell. <laughs> Okay, my lava cakes are done and I've pulled them out of the oven. I'll let them sit for about 15 minutes to cool down. When it's ready, I'm gonna take one lava cake and flip it on my plate. It should pop right out. Beautiful. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit of matcha powder right on top, add a little bit of graham cracker crust cause that's the way Spot did it, and then scoop a little bit of my ice cream on top. All right, let's break this baby open. Mmm, look at that matcha ooze out with the chocolate. Oh, so good. And we're going in for a bite. I have a little bit of the matcha ice cream, some cake, and the graham cracker crust that'll give it a little bit of texture. This is really good. <laughs> I have always been a fan of chocolate lava cakes. It's not too sweet, and especially when it's paired with ice cream, it's just so good. But this matcha flavor just sends it over the top. It's not too sweet, and the matcha with the white chocolate gives it a little bit of this unique flavor that I don't know, you guys really have to try this. And if you do make it, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering so I can see and like it. And you guys, I also started a new channel, a daily vlog on Wild Honeysuckle where I vlog every day about things like natural beauty, my shopping haul, my grocery hauls. I have found out I love doing haul videos. If you guys are into that stuff, Go subscribe to my new channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! And don't forget to subscribe!